Communication towers. The pulse of the 21st century. Scraping the sky. The speed lines will kick our ass, man. They are a deadly frontier. Oh, five second heart attack. Pounded by the elements in any conditions. Here, a special breed do a job few people can. Oh, yeah. Feel the burn. If you make a mistake, you die. Look out! In a race to build and connect. Send up both antennas. Everything depends on towers, cell phones, emergency alerts, stock trades, and Wall Street. These towers send and receive billions of dollars worth of data per day. Our lives depend on these towers and those who brave them. Let's go! Getting up! All day, all day! Over the last decade, injuries have skyrocketed, taking cover from skull-crushing steel... You try to kill me? That med kit game? ...costing over 100 men and women their lives. They risk everything to keep the world connected as they claim their stake in the billion-dollar telecommunications boom. This is one of the deadliest professions. Without them, the world's communication systems shut down. This is Hangman. The New York metropolitan area is the most populous in the United States and holds the bulk of the nation's 326 million wireless subscribers. From business, banking, to stock trades on Wall Street, billions of dollars pass through these towers daily. Big corporations run the tower business, but there's a small company still fighting to stay alive. Owned and operated by John Pileski. Hey, morning, guys. It's a family business. Is that tough? I got big shoes to fill, but I'm definitely up for the challenge. Owning and servicing his own towers, John's company rents mounting spaces to phone, banks, and data providers willing to pay rent, up to $4,000 per month. It could be extremely profitable one day, and other days it could be different. It's a high-stakes game where a bank loan can build a tower and an empire. But you can't do it alone. My tower crew has to be my family. Each one of us looks after the other. But they have to be because it's a dangerous job. It's dangerous to do what we do. But the payoff for workers can be big, up to $120,000 a year. What's up? Guys, don't let your gear touch the floor. Who put that on the floor over there? You guys going out tonight? You and Jenny? Nah, we just bought the house, man. We got to get moved in. I hate moving. I've been climbing towers for 12 years now. If I can't do it, it can't be done. I mean, I'm not doing this to just be the grunt, the guy at the bottom of the totem pole, you know? My plan is to be the boss one day. He's not going to be your wingman tonight, sorry. Not for, like, three months. I got into towers when I met Diddy. I've never been this high before. Women are shocked when I tell them that I climb to work on cell phone towers. You're in a man's world out there, but I love it. We're having man conversations. He doesn't even want to go out man. with you. Me and Jen have been together for four years. I worry about her a lot when she straps on her gear. If I said, I don't want you climbing anymore, babe, she's probably just going to want to do it even more. We live together. We work together. It's a lot at times, but, you know, we make it work. Where the hell is Jesse? He should have been here in the shop a half hour ago. Guys, today we got two jobs. First job's in Linden, second job's in Pennsylvania. Who's going on that tower? Pennsylvania, we're going to be me, Alex, Cowboy here, and I'll take Kane. Oh, look who shows up. Every tower crew needs a guy like Jesse on his crew because he's the guy with muscles. But he's not going to be able to gain the kind of respect he needs unless he's able to get here on time. Jesse, you're late again today. Let me tell you something. You're costing me a lot of money. John and I, we've known each other for a while. If he says something to me like, you're late or whatever, I just brush it off. You're going to be going to Linden with Diddy over here, with Jenny, and you're going to meet up with a guy who's already at the site rigging the tower. He's going to be running the crew. Who's that? His name is 40 Watt. He's been electrocuted so many times, they say he glows yeah. like a 40 Watt bulb. Must be a real Einstein. Now, this guy is a tower guy, man. This guy knows what he's doing. 40 Watt came very highly recommended. He knows how to run a job. So right? you're going to have him run the crew? I'm having him run the crew. This new guy, 40 Watt, coming in his first day, and he's supposed to be running the show. I mean, I've been here for 12 years, and I don't get any respect. 
Diddy and I don't always see eye to eye. I am not just gonna turn over the keys to him. These two jobs are very important. Linden, we got a government installation going on. It's gotta be up and operating right away. Not gonna be easy. In PA, we gotta get this data system up and operating today. It's crazy. Under no circumstances are we gonna fail on this. All right, guys, let's roll. The Linden Tower. John built this self-support tower for $400,000 with a bank loan. At 250 feet tall, that's over twice the height of America's Statue of Liberty. Because of its location, leasing space to providers is at a premium. You need to be extra careful today, all right? Make sure everybody comes home alive. I feel kind of weird about going out to the site today. There's a new guy out there. I haven't really had a chance to, you know, meet the guy, let alone work with him. The job, install two 10-foot omnidirectional antennas for a crucial government data link. It's a deadly profession, but they do it for the thrill and the money, $12,500. Hey. How you doing? All right. I'm Jesse. Jesse? Paul. Paul, nice to meet you, buddy. Jenny. Jenny. Diddy. Diddy? Yeah. They call me 40. 40. I've been in the tire industry for 16 years. I started climbing when I was 40. I'm 56 now. It gets in your blood, and it stays in your blood. And I love being in the air. That's where I want to be as long as I can. You got a little accent. Where are you from? From Arkansas. What do you think of Jersey? Well, it's big. If you go to work with a new crew, it takes it takes a little getting used to everybody's style, every, what everybody's like. How many um, cell towers have you done like this? Lost count a long time ago, man. <laughs> <laughs> First time I saw Jesse, I thought, what have they been feeding this boy? Here's my workhorse. Here's the guy that's got the muscle on the job. Okay, Diddy has a uh, he has an arrogance about him. He could be something like a loose cannon. I'm a little concerned about climbing with him or even just him being on the ground, you know, if he even knows how to tie knots, rig anything. You know, there's a lot of guys who call themselves tower dogs, but, you know, I'm a tower god. You know what we're doing here today? As foreman, 40 Watt will run the crew and assign the workload. I think I'd go ahead and send you two up. I'll help Jesse get set up down here. Go ahead and gear up. Paul and Jesse will work ground crew and hoist the antennas to Diddy and Jenny in the air. You got your ground guys, and they're the guys who are basically running around with the ropes, pulling stuff up. And then you have your air guys. They're the ones who climb up there, install the antennas, and run the air work. Well, you've been climbing for three to four years. Yeah. Well, you're not used to seeing chicks in the field, huh? Uh, yeah, I get well, that a lot. You got I a problem did, with it? I did train a woman to climb oh, yeah? a few years ago. How'd she do? Well, she lasted about three months. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she couldn't hang with it. Yeah, well, I've been lasting longer than that already, so I'll show you. I don't need to tell you anything. Well, I can't wait to see. Well, I'd like to let Jenny show me what she's got. Women can fool you. I've been fooled by them all my life. 160 miles away in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, John Pileski and crew have made the three-hour trek to the next job. Is this the tower? This is the site. John built the tower in 1999. For the next 10 hours, this is where we will be. Let's do it. We're ready. Let's go. At 305 feet, the Harrisburg Tower rivals the height of a 30-story building. John's crew must install a $7,000 microwave dish antenna at the 210-foot mark. This new dish is the vital piece to connect a first-of-its-kind data link between Wall Street and Washington, D.C. The job is valued at $17,500 if they can pull it off in one day. What we're shooting for right now, right in the center of that white section is about the 210 level. We're gonna put the mount right there, so the tag guy's gotta go all the way back with it and pull it away from the tower as much as he possibly can. So I don't wanna risk any possibility of this dish slamming up against the tower, all right? This job in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania is a crucial financial network. If the system isn't up and online in time, our clients are losing millions of dollars per minute in financial trades. This is the wave of the future, so I want to keep them impressed so that I get more and more of their business. So what do you think? I think it's going to be a pain in the ass to rig this one. I own this company, but I, I like to be out here in the field with the guys. I like to let them know 
that there isn't a job that's too dangerous for me to be out there. It gives them confidence, and I get to uh, inspect their work. John and Kane will work the air, while John's son Alex and Cowboy work the ground. Guys, we're not in the city anymore. This is a country tower, and it presents other problems. There's bugs out here, there's snakes, here there's bees. So you don't want any part of that. Just keep your eyes and ears open. Every year, we experience fatalities, and they can die of unusual circumstances. Even an experienced tower climber uh, can die. Oh, look at the hawk. Look at the hawk. While John and his team prepare to climb, back in Linden, it's almost go time. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day you've given us. We ask you to keep us safe. In your son's Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Okay. All right, let's do it. Yeah, it's a risky business. There's a chance you might not go home that night. The main thing is doing it safely. All right, you ready, baby? You safe, okay? Diddy and Jenny attach cable grabs to the tower's safety wire. It will serve as their umbilical cord while making the perilous 250-foot climb. See you at the top. Tower climbing is a deadly game of focus and rhythm. Step up, grab, clamp on, and repeat. Breaking the rhythm can get climbers killed. I'm not used to seeing a chick climbing on a tower. Climbing as a couple is very nerve-wracking. You know, I don't want to see anything happen to her, but I want to be there in case something does happen. You know, I'm still scared up there, which is good, because I don't want to get too comfortable. But, you know, I like to push myself. It's how you live, right? As one of the most dangerous occupations, 11 people have already died this year. For added safety, they use pelican clips to latch on and off as they work their way up. We're working at heights, and, you know, there's a million different things that could go wrong. It's a dangerous situation. I mean, you know, people need to be careful. Oh, John, it's 40. What do you want? Hey, 40, we got a problem. A cell phone carrier's connection is loose, leaving 150,000 people without service. See if you can get us back in line. Go up here and check it out. Paul, what's going on? I just got a call from John. Customers got a problem on the sector. It's a lower mound up here. Just got a loose connection up here. I'm gonna put some tape on it. It'll be all right. Oh, look out! While Diddy and Jenny continue the grueling climb to the top, Paul's checking on a loose connection that shut down cell service to over 150,000 subscribers. Look out! What the f was that? You try to kill me? What, my I fault? just had the wrench over there, man. What's wrong with you? Hell, I just touched the thing and it fell Give off. Give that headache right away, man. When I got up there, there was a uh, bracket that somebody else had installed loose. I didn't see this mount. If this thing would have hit him, it could have killed him. As 40 Watt works to get cell service back online, 160 miles away, we got to get this system up and operating today. This is a financial network. This is something that's uh, critically important. Uh, a lot of financial data goes through these systems. Let's do so it. So let's suit up. Money, money is time. Alex, can you put this on my back? Alex is uh, is a sedentary kid. And I'm trying to get him out. I'm trying to get him exposed to this industry. And I really hope that this industry is his passion. John must begin the 220-foot ascent carrying the block and tackle for installation. This weighs about 40 pounds. 35 pounds? 35 pounds? Yeah. The block is tough to get up there because you've got to haul up all the rope. So the higher up you go, the more the rope's going to weigh. Rigging a pulley above the mounting point, a rope line is run around the pulley and back down to the ground. The ground crew pulls on the rope that raises the antenna up to the mounting point. Known as a guy wire tower, it depends on steel wires for support. Climbing it is tough, as it will bend and shift in the wind. The higher up you go, the more the tower sways. You never know when the wind is going to knock you off. In Linden, Jenny and Diddy have climbed 100 feet, but they still have 150 more to go. 
Yeah, we gotta get this job done today. Big John's gonna be pissed if we don't get those antennas up. Oh. Scared. You're scared? I've never been this high before. Don't be scared. We're almost there, baby. Come on up. Good job, baby. I think you're over 200 feet now. While Jenny and Diddy push past 210 feet, in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, John Pileski's ready to haul up and install the block and pulley system that will help carry the load of the microwave dish. So once I have the block set, we're going to lower the block, connect it to the microwave dish, and haul the dish up to the 210-foot level. It's very risky. It's very dangerous work. When you fall from one of these towers, your body just gets crushed. You hit the ground and basically break every bone in your body. We have to get this system up and on the air before the sun sets. load that's that heavy going up that high stresses out your entire body. It fatigues your back, it fatigues your legs. You gotta be in some pretty good shape to haul that stuff up there. Definitely gotta... get your pulse pounding and you gotta get your air and it's just, it's just all this going, just like choking you. At 200 feet, John pushes on to rig the block and pulley system. He's been over on that spot for a while. Dad, Dad, you copy? Beasting. While hauling up the block and pulley, John Pileski has angered a swarm of bees. Are you OK? John's been stung multiple times. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, oh, you have no idea how much that hurts. Fighting off the pain, and carrying over 150 pounds of rope and gear, John climbs on to rig. Back in Linden, Jenny and Diddy are nearing the top of the 250-foot tower, where they must install the twin omnidirectional antennas. Oh, yeah. Feel the burn. Diddy's loaded down with nearly the full length of the load rope. Now, he's hauling almost twice his weight, 350 pounds. To reach the upper platform, Diddy and Jenny must transition from the access ladder to a five-foot crawl space. Let me just, go ahead. <clears throat> the ladder stops and then there's about a five foot gap where you gotta kinda just jump up and pull yourself up through this hatch. Transitioning from ladder to crawl space could be a fatal maneuver. Diddy must unclip from his main safety line and then reclip once he's made the move. Where am I gonna go? This is the first time Jenny will be attempting this dangerous maneuver. Oh, how, how am I supposed to do this? This is so scary. I don't know where to put my feet. I don't know what I can hold on to. Climb that way, Jen. Climb over here. No, why am I doing? Go back down. Well, that's up to you. Jenny, come up here and just sit on that, OK? Clip that to you. You don't need two. Two, take that off of there now. You got one. That's more than enough. You're never supposed to have two on. Holy can't Take it. In Linden, they're now at 240 feet. Can't take it. Jenny is attempting a dangerous transition from the ladder to a small crawl space under the platform. I know it's scary, but you'll be all right. There you go. Good job. About the same when we lost last 
talk. I'll let you know when we're good, all right? Give me a minute. Yeah, I'm just trying to stay on top of things. Hey, hey, whatever. Yeah, you let him talk to you like that? Well, I'm not trying to push him. I'm just trying to keep things in a flow. Diddy and Jenny have one obstacle left, and it's the most dangerous. Jumping through the gap and onto the crow's nest. I'll help you up. baby come up here just take your time yeah the pelican clip is the only thing that stands between jenny and a 250 foot fall it's crazy in order to make it jenny must jump three feet through a gap in the platform and pull her way through to the top right, give me your hand let me try and do it myself They've made it 250 feet, but at this height, wind gusts can reach up to 80 miles per hour, which could easily blow them off the platform. I just want the rope untied, and then I don't, I don't want you guys to touch it, all right? I'm, gonna, I'm raising the block up, so don't touch it till I tell you. OK, 10-4, yeah. At the top of the tower, Diddy's ready to connect the load rope and pulley system. The rope's all yours. Send up both antennas. One at a time. Walk back as you do, together. With the rope rigged, they can finally fly the 10-pound antenna. Come on, Paul, push. Come on. Push. Ooh. All right, let's stop there and take a bite. What are you doing? Why? Why are you stopping? Getting up! Why are you stopping? Getting up. <laughs> Yo, chill out, bro. Chill out. Paul needs a break. OK. Take it easy. We don't want to bang it. Woo! Oh, OK. All right, that's good. That's good. I take that to mean you have the antenna. Thanks for sending up just one antenna with no tagline. Now I gotta send this knot all the way down there. Because there's no tagline on it! He's the one running the show. I mean, that's day one. Do we have another rope that we can use for a tagline? A secondary rope or tagline must be connected to the load. Bring that end up here, Bubba. We're gonna use that for the tagline. 40 Watt and Jesse will use the tagline to control the load as it's flown up to Diddy. I told him exactly what I wanted, and they sent it up wrong. I'm just the air guy. I don't know a thing. Diddy should be running the show, not some guy that just walks in the door from another state and didn't tie a tagline to the antenna. With the tagline rigged, they can finally send up the antenna. This thing is going up. But connecting it has cost them valuable time. All right, stick a tagline in. Screw the beam shut. You gonna do the pull by yourself? No. <laughs> OK, that's what I thought. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Please. Let's do this. We got to get it up there. That light's burning. Come on, hand over hand. You and me. You Come and on, me. let's go, Paul. You and me. You and me, Bubba. I'm burned, I'm burned, I'm burned. That's all I can handle. Kicking my ass. I don't work as hard. You don't see this grandpa lay down on the ground and have a damn heart attack. Take a break, take a break.
That's crazy. Take it down, dead end. It's all yours. I'm done with it. The rope's clear. Take it down. Ten four. In Arkansas, the guys are more laid back, relaxed. Up here, I think everybody is a little bit more high strung. Y'all ready for a couple? Of balls? Oh, on this one. Now I'm ready for the cable. Tell them to chill out. There's some people in the industry you call them hot shots. They want to show off, but the tower business is nowhere you can want to show off. In Harrisburg. At 220 feet, John Pileski is having an allergic reaction from the bee stings as he finally attaches the block and pulley. Are you okay? I could hardly see straight. Now my mouth is all dry. Dad, Dad, you copy? I don't know. and 20 feet up in Harrisburg. John's allergic reaction to the bee stings has severely weakened his muscles. Dad, Dad, you copy? Oh, headache! 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 That's scary. Woo. Oh, it's not good. We're having a serious issue. Uh, one of our crew members have been injured, and we need to get them off the tower immediately. Cowboy's suiting up, and the clock is ticking. I want to get my ass up in the air. John yes. really needs to get off the tower right now before he goes into shock. John? John! I'm pretty concerned about John, so we got to get him down as quickly as possible. All right, man, I'm right below you, bro. Beasting. I felt my throat closing up and everything. Yeah, are you OK up there? All right, come on. In order to get myself down from this tower, I've got to rely on my arm strength because I've got no leg strength whatsoever. Oh, my goodness. John's finished rigging the block, but his health is in jeopardy. Come on. We need that med kit, Kane. If John goes into shock, his life could be in the ground crew's hands. John, you okay up there? Come on. One second. Just get everything set up just in case. Watch right there and help him. Watch, watch one second. One second. Yeah. No, no, Stay down on the back. Make sure it helps this guy. It's a gladiator right there. It don't make yeah. him like that anymore. I don't it's a gladiator. You all right? Move in a shake. Move in a shake. You all right, Pops? Sick to my stomach, man. Oh. Sit down, man. Sit down. Yeah, sit down. Off. Take a load off. Take your, take your harness off. The guys remove the harness gear as quickly as they can. They must relieve pressure on John's chest to help him breathe. And they'll give him an EpiPen shot to combat the allergic reaction. At the Linden Tower site, at 250 feet and wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour, Jenny secures the base of the antenna to the tower while Diddy locks off the top. Now. 40 Watt and Jesse must fly coax cable up the tower. Diddy and Jenny will then finish the installation. What is the holdup? Take yourself 10 or 15 minute break. Uh, we'll make it happen. He's getting on my nerves. Why wasn't this ready? They had all morning. Hey, Jesse, your job is to keep that feed line off the tower. Got me? Do it. OK, Diddy, got a feed line coming up, man. Do they even look up at the ropes? Do they not see it's trapped on that antenna right there? What are you doing down there? Hey, man, this thing's only got one speed, and that's it. It's a line being trapped around that antenna right there. What happened? The load rope's in front of the freaking sector mount. This sector mount supports cell phone antennas. If they're knocked offline or damaged, cell phone signal within 20 miles will go down. 
and it could cost the company thousands of dollars. Yeah, we're pulling against that antenna. I'm fed up with the way things are going. It's getting dark out, and these towers don't have lights on them. We need to get this job done now. Somebody could get hurt climbing down in the dark. You're going to walk in and get from around there. <clears throat> no problem. With the load rope freed from the sector mount, the boys can get back to work. All right, good idea. We didn't see that down here, man. Everything look clear now? Yeah. Ten four. Finally, the cab stand is working just right. The day is looking up for the Linden team. With the cable up, Diddy and Jenny finish the job. <sighs> the twin omnidirectional antennas are connected. A high-speed government data and communications upgrade is now online. Put my label on the tower! I'm doing pink because I'm repping for the ladies. We're ready to come down. Yes. See you on the ground. All right, Diddy, good job. Y'all come on down safe. Finally, we'll see man. you on the ground. Be safe on your way down. Love you, bye. They finished the installation, and 250 feet is a milestone for Jenny. But a tower climber's job is never done until they've made it back safely to the ground. In Harrisburg, John's weak but almost recovered. Now Kane and John's son Alex will climb, while John will work the ground with Cowboy. We lost a lot of time getting me down from that tower. If we can't get this job up today, our clients are going to lose money. And if they lose money, we lose money. I guess I would consider myself a rookie. I'm definitely not as experienced as most of the other people here. But this is my big opportunity to go up there and prove to everyone that I can do this. My son going up the tower, you know? I didn't want his first major experience to be because he's got to take over from me. I, I should be the one up there. It's really not easy for me to watch. It's a little emotional for me. It's just this is a little complicated for the stage he's at right now. I can't ever turn off the worry when Alex climbs. He's, he's relatively new, and, and new guys make mistakes. A chance for the rookie to prove his worth to his father. Alex is taking a big risk. With a handful of climbs, he still lacks experience. <laughs> now, when you get up here, I want you to come here on the inside and tie off on the inside, and you're going to pull it into me while I tighten it up. Yeah. And this way, you're in a nice, safe position. Okay. You should take off your beaner, actually. Leave that on there. You always leave your beaner. You leave that on the line. Take your beaner off. When I'm up on the tower, the tower will speak to me. It will move. And if that tower is moving, I'm going to be more worried. I believe the tower does have a personality of its own. There, don't tie it down there. You always want it above your shoulder. Put your foot out here on that, yeah. And I'm getting stuck with a rookie. This is becoming a real problem for me. I have to babysit him. Come in, Big John. Yeah, I'm here. I'm calling it up here. The sun is setting. It's going to get dangerous really fast. Like, the sun is rapidly setting. The uh, cane start pulling. You're going to fly it, and we're going to hang it in a matter of minutes? Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, man, I got your son up here. I just want him to be safe 100%. I can't play with this. Come on, man, just pull this up. I'm Alex's dad. I've got to look out for him. And I'm a businessman running a tower crew. I've also got to look out for my client. This job's got to be done. Make it rapid, please. Like, this is really cool and dangerous now. All right, guys, we're getting ready to hoist it up. Let's go! Sun setting! I got it. But I don't know if it's going to happen. If they don't step on it, this ain't happening today. For a tower climber, the setting sun is never a good sight. They must finish the job now or be forced to make the dangerous climb back down in the dark. Something today! The light's disappearing! 
our tour crew is our family. If he says anything, I'll just tell him Alex did it. Yeah. You're his son, so you can get away with it. <laughs> we're with each other more often than we're with our family and our friends. We look after each other. Baby, you all right? Yeah. You sure you don't want me to wait for you? I'm OK. If you live life on the edge, if you're a little bit more aggressive, if heights don't matter to you, then tower climbing is the most exciting thing you can do. At the Asperg job site, rookie Alex Pileski has taken over for his father. He and Kane only have until sundown to install the dish antenna, and time's quickly running out. Something today! The light's disappearing! Come on, baby! All day! Move it up to the clouds, man! Come on! Couple feet! Come on! Yeah! Woo! Hold that! Hold that! Woo! 210 feet, baby. With ease. And we're going to get this done. The other problem now is we're fighting time. The sun is setting. And I've got to get my sun down. How are you guys looking? I'm, I'm literally putting on a timer right now, because I'm not, I'm not around with this kid up here. I don't want him to climb down and like when it gets dark. We just want to double check. This is the time you really want to work faster for them. With the dish up, it's a race against the sun as Kane and Alex secure the dish's broadcast position to the tower at the Linden, New Jersey tower site. I'm tired. Good job, man. Sorry for the delays. That sucks. Beat all up to that long, huh? I just hope Jenny's on. Where do they want to? It's like, I can never do this. When you're going down, you can't see anything. You're constantly trying to find your footing and, you know, reach for anything that you can hold on to. I hate coming down, especially something this high. She's feeling the burn right now. I don't know what I would do without her. I really don't know. Once I get going, like, I feel better. <sighs> Watch your step coming down, baby. You're almost there. Every time that I climb down, I know that he's watching me the entire time. I don't even have to look at him. I know he's watching me. That's always a good feeling. Oh, how good does that feel? Better. Were you worried about me coming down? A little bit. I am so proud of myself. And I know Diddy's proud of me. It feels good to conquer my fears. The team survived today's job, risking their lives. Every tower is a gamble. But the thrill is what they live for. At the Harrisburg site. This is like really getting dark now. With the sunlight dropping off quickly. And the dish ain't going nowhere. The dish is finally aligned. I'm gonna plug this right back in the back of here, all right, Alex? But they need to connect the communications feed line so it can relay data signal. All right, so you're gonna have to give me some tape. Kane must secure the feed line to protect it from the wind and slipping out of place. See, look at the sun. You see that? Get the tower, Junior. We're going down. Yo, boss. Yo, you there? Yeah. Sun is set. It's gone. We're coming up. Copy that. I got the other one down here. We're connectorizing it, and we're hooking it up. All right. Roger that, baby. John and Cowboy need to connect the antenna feed line to the transmitting and receiving gear in the radio room. And we're done. With the Harrisburg Tower up and running, a crucial data link has been established between Wall Street and Washington, D.C. Today, we got the job done in the nick of time. I feel great that this was done, even though it got to the point when I was up there that I was really, really aggravated from what was happening on the ground that I had no control over. <laughs> It was my kid up there. Hey, 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 hey. Woo. Thanks for bailing me out, kid. Anytime, anytime. But I'm proud of you. I'm always here to be a hero. <laughs> I was a little nervous. <laughs>
Not as nervous as when you got stung by a bee <laughs> and you said you couldn't breathe. I proved myself up there today. I deserve more time on the tower. Kid, I'm really proud of you. This was not the way I expected things to go down, but you filled in for me and you did a great job. You did it just like I would have done it.